Hi and welcome to another video on Show Cockpit. This one is a response to a user, Andrew Walk, that uh, asked on the users group, is it possible to um, sync an Ableton link session with an effects in Onyx? Yes, there's already a video on how to virtually tap the beat button uh, from an Ableton link session and have the chases sync to the BPM, but there is no information on uh, how to sync the effects engine uh, speed with an Ableton Link session. And this video will demonstrate how you can do that with Show Cockpit and a few Lua scripting. So let's start by adding uh, the elements that we need. Let's start with Obsidian Onyx because we want to control Onyx, enable it. And let's also add external control Ableton Link also enable it and let's get ourselves a Lua script element as well. Okay, so before we dive into the Lua script itself, let's first record something in Onyx. So I'll create an effect. I'll select my fixtures, swing to maximum, select the mode to be a square wave, I multiply by two and the timing I will want a step of four. So step per four fixtures. And I'll record this in playback seven as a cue list. And now if I select the same fixtures and set the speed to maximum, okay, to 100%, and I can record this only the speed as an override to playback eight. All right, so what I have essentially created here, if I play this cue list and bring this fader up, is an effect that is running on a cue list and the override is essentially controlling the speed of this effect. And what we will do is control this fader with uh, or based on the BPM information coming from the Ableton link. So we know that as an override we have recorded the full speed. So this is 100% speed, this is the maximum speed and this will be zero speed, right? So, and in the middle, um, there are intermediate values uh, between the minimum and the maximum, of course. So, going now back to show cockpit, you can open the Lua script. Let's delete the sample file and we will need to get the BPM or the tempo information from Ableton link. So select Ableton link, get tempo function. You can copy the example code and let's call this variable BPM. All right. And now we need to control Onyx uh, main playback, main playback fader, fader move. So we, we need to get the onyx element into a variable so that we can call functions from that. And we will call this function main playback fader, fader move. I will not copy the, the, other, the others now. So playback number, uh, remember we recorded the speed at playback eight. So we will want to control always playback eight. And this value will range between zero and one, uh, the minimum and the maximum. So I, I've made a few tests um, using also the information that is shown here uh, that correlates percentage and BPMs and there's actually a quadratic function that relates the two and the inverse of that quadratic function is a square root. So to get the fader level uh, from the BPMs, uh, you just set this uh, fader level equals, we will call this variable fader level, uh, math dot square root. We will do the square root of the BPM that we are reading from the Ableton link and divide the BPM by 300. All right, so this, this square root was inferred, it was by trial and error if you want. Uh, 
this um, function, this is a mathematical function, will give you the right fader level for this override. And now we can use this variable when we call the fader move function uh, of the onyx of the onyx element. So essentially, if we are running an Ableton link session, and by default it runs at 120. Okay, I have here an application on my phone uh, that. All right. So you can hear it. And if you also put the Ableton link uh, element at information log level, you will see for each bit, you will see a message. It is currently at 120. And if I change on my phone, I can increase and decrease and you will see a message also on the, on the console. So if I put this back into warning mode so it doesn't print here and we run the Lua script, it runs once. Let's save this. It, it runs once. Basically runs through this sequentially. And you can see that the now the, um, the effect is running in sync with what you hear from my uh, Ableton link application here. And if I increase it, it will not change because we only run the Lua script um, once, right? So we need this Lua script to be running continuously so that the fader uh, level will be continuously updated. And we do that by adding a while true do all this and end here and we'll indent so we can know exactly what's inside the while. So this means loop indef indefinitely, all right, until we stop the script. Um, let's give the CPU uh, some resources as well so we are not continuously doing this but sleep just a little bit to free some CPU resources. So we'll sl sleep for 10 milliseconds and we will repeat this uh, every 10 milliseconds. So if we now run the script, you'll see that the script keeps running in the back and if I change here, let's come back to Onyx. And if I change the tempo here on the application, now it's 77. And as you can hear and see, the, the effect is running in sync with the Ableton link. Let's increase it to 168. Just to confirm if everything is working, you can also uh, open this window over here and as I'm changing the tempo on the application, you will see the speed uh, being updated. It's now at 72 BPMs and now 161. And that's it. So that Lua script is basically um, changing this uh, this this playback level over here every 10 milliseconds. So if we try to change it, it will come back again to the level because there's a Lua script running on the back. And that's it. So using this uh, little Lua script, which I will upload and include a link to that in the um, in the video description, you can basically sync. Uh, your effects to uh, an Ableton link session uh, using the BPM information and by changing an override fader on a main playback. You can also use a, a submaster fader, any fader that you want that is free to use. Um, you can you can choose whatever you want. So thank you for watching this uh, video. It's quite long already I think for such a, a small <laughs> content over here but it, it will make a difference in your shows if, if you have this Ableton link session already available you can basically link all your uh, effects to, um, uh, to this Ableton link session so thank you very much for watching I will leave you with uh, the website link so feel free to check the website out and also join the users group on Facebook 
Uh, it's on facebook.com slash group slash show cockpit. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.